young adult ladies. This Memorial Day weekend, Spiritual Harvest Ministries is the place to be. You have sex outside of its intended purpose. Now your body may be loving it, but that's only one aspect of who you are. Your mind is thinking it's safe because maybe it is a friends with benefits situation. Maybe it's just casual sex. Maybe it's just one time. Maybe it's a church because I, I, most of us go to church. I'm coming to church. And I'm, I don't want to wear a dress. If I am conscious of being modest as a Christian, if I am conscious of being simple, or being moderate in my dressing, I should wear something that covers me as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, right? But you see, that is what I have come to realize is not happening in the church. Yes, yes. It's not, That's right. it's not. That's right. I've come into a church where I saw a lady dressed like she was just going to a car. Yes, yes. It was a strapless dress and above her knees. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, what actually is she trying to say? Mm -hmm. Because your dressing begins to speak about you yes, once you appear in an environment. Yeah. Yes. Spiritual Harvest Ministries, building the spirit man for Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Everybody's got your prayer. School, you might not be doing as well as you think you can do in school, but you want to do better. Say my schooling, my grades, hallelujah. My friends, the way I think, hallelujah. Now stay up and stay up at the wall. Can I stay with your prayer? And we're gonna pray, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Everybody here, we got all our keys up here? Okay. All right. Got your prayer, stick it on the wall, and then put your hand on it. We're going to lay hands over it and pray. Hallelujah. All right. Minister Janice, come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. These ladies are around teenagers all the time. They can relate to you a whole lot better than I can. Mine grew up on me. Hallelujah. Gave me a lot of great hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got your hands on your Hallelujah. prayer. Put your hands on your prayer. Whatever you need to put yourself up there. Pray that it can be myself. Pray for it. This is an act of faith. This is an act of faith. Everybody ready? You got your prayer up there? Do we have a couple more? Is she writing in the corner? She's writing. Okay. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, let's go before the Lord. Oh, Father, we come right now in your son Jesus' name. Thank you, your Lord, for everything that you taught us in this wonderful team conference, Father. Lord, I come right now, Lord, uplifting these children before you, Lord. The world says that they're young women, but they're not. They're children, God. And Father, I come up with these young, these young children before you, these young, these young girls before you, Lord, who will someday be a young lady, dear Father. Lord, I come ministering over them right now in your son Jesus' name. Father, you know the prayer requests that they have put on these papers on this wall. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord, that you would lead them, that you would guide them, that you would touch their minds, touch their hearts, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, the Lord, whatever they have put on those pieces of paper, Lord, by faith, the Lord, I pray that it will be done and so right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, the Lord, whether it's themselves, whether it's their parents, whether it's born friends, things that should not be in their lives, whether it's past actions, things that they've seen, things that they've heard, things that they think of, things that they do. Lord, you come right now in your son Jesus' name, asking the Lord that you would arrest it all right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, the Lord, that you would make them into the young ladies that you want them to be. Lord, I pray that they will walk a right path before you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that they will be obedient to their parents right now in the name of Jesus. I come against this rebellious spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I come against this spirit of stubbornness right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of disrespect. Spirit of sinlessness that's out of control in the name of Jesus. You will obey your parents. You will walk in righteousness. You will 